In this video, I'll show you how to use Audacity. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go and consider leaving a like as well, as it really does help support the channel. So please do watch this guide right until the end as well, so you know the full steps to using Audacity and just know how to fully go and record a piece of audio, export it, save it, and so much more. So without any further ado, let's go and jump into this guide. Now let's go and continue with this guide on how to use Audacity. So as you can see, here we are. So the first thing I want to cover is how you can go and open and save files. So the first thing you want to do is simply go to the top where it says file. As you can see up here, we've got new, open. Then down here, we've got save project, save project as and export. So the first thing I recommend doing is when you go and start your file, you simply go and click save project as. And then as you can see here, it does say it's just for an Audacity project. This is not an audio file. I'll be showing you how to create an audio file um, in a minute. So go and click OK, and then you can go and choose where you'd like to go and save the project. So I'm just going to save it to my desktop and just name it test or something like that. And just like so, I'm going to click save. And as you can see here, I'll just um, zoom out a minute. You can see I've got test data and test.aup. So now we've got to save this file and we've got a name at the top. So the next thing we want to do is go and look at all of these different tools. So what I recommend doing is coming to the microphone and making sure your mic your right microphone is selected. Mine is the microphone um, to USB PMP, but make sure um, you you go and select your correct one. You can always go and test it and make sure it sounds correct as well. And then you've got the stereo and mono. So I recommend recording stereo. Otherwise, if you record a mono, like it only comes out one speaker and that sort of thing. So I just always use stereo. And then you can go and choose the output. So I'm just I'm currently outputting to my speakers. I could do it on my monitor, but I like it on my speakers. But you may have a headset or something like that. And then above it, we've got a pause, play, stop, um, skip to the start and skip to the end and record. So this is all for when you're actually um, recording stuff, basically. And then over here, we've gone and got a few tools. So here we've just got um, the selection tool. Then we've gone and got a few others like the envelope tool. You've got a pen tool, you've got a zoom tool, and you've got the moving tool. And I'll be sort of showing you more of these once we actually go and get into uh, recording. And then here we've got recording volume and then listening volume as you can see and uh, that's what the main bit. Now let's go and record something and I'll show you how it goes and works. So I'm going to go and press record and then once you're finished go and click stop and it's going to go and stop it just like so. So as you can see here our audio is. So if we want to we can go and zoom in to so go and click on the magnifying tool like this and just click and it's going to go and zoom in and then to zoom back out you can go and right click and then it's going to go and zoom back out. But I'm going to go back to the selection tool for now. So the first thing you want to go and do is probably remove any sort of empty pieces of audio. For example, just here, this is a bit empty, so I'm going to go and just drag using the left click and then just hold and drag to where I want to delete. And then just go and press Del on your keyboard, just like that, and it's going to go and remove it. So the next thing we can also go and do is add some background music as well. So add multiple layers. You could also be adding other um, bits of other bits of audio as well if you're trying to make a podcast or, or something like that. So I've got some background music here. I'm just going to go and drag in just like this. And as well as dragging music in, you can also use the import as well. So now I'm going to go and drag it in. As you can see, you see it's move. I'm going to drop it. It's going to go and import it. And as you can see, here we go. So then as you can see, the volumes are very, very different. So to go and change this, all you need to do is come onto the track you want to lower the volume off and then go and look for this tool here. Make sure it's the plus and minus or minus and plus and then simply drag it like that to lower the gain like this. So you want to do it as long as it till it sounds good. I'll, of course, I'll show you how to go and make sure it sounds all right. And then I'm going to go and zoom back in just so I can go and see the actual audio. So let's just go and do this. And then as you can see, we can now go and play back and see how it sounds. And I'm just going to say this is an example for our Audacity tutorial video. And there you go. As you can see, that sounds quite good to me. I could go and make it a little bit louder or a bit quieter if I wanted to. But for me, that's fine. Now, the next thing I want to do is zoom back out just like this. And I'm just going to go and remove the rest of this audio. So I'm just going to hold down here and just go and click delete because I don't need the whole song. And you can also go and use this time shift tool up here and you can go and move it just like this, which is really useful. So you can go and choose when it starts and stops, which is I think is really cool as well. Now, the next thing I want to go and show you is effects you can go and add So simply go and hover over effect. And we've got all of these different effects you can go and add. Now, honestly, the best thing I recommend for this is probably going and testing them out to see which works best for you. But some of my favorite stuff is stuff like equalization. That's really useful, um, as well as noise reduction as well down here. It's really useful. And you can go and fade in and out. So you can literally make a whole podcast using these effects. They're really, really useful. And you can also do cool effects like echo as well. And to go and add them, all you want to do is double click on the audio you want to add it to like this. 
and then go and click effect and then you want to go and choose the effect. So let's say I want to go and do echo. To click on echo, you can then go and choose the delay time. So I'll just keep it as one for now and then you can have the decay factor as well. Um, I don't really touch that. I usually just change delay time if I want to. Then go and press OK. And as you can see, the audio will change a bit and then let's go and listen back. Button, just like button. so. And I'm just going to say this and is And then as you can see, you can go and hear the echo. But as I said, there are so many different effects you can go and add. And once you're gone and happy with your sort of outcome, so you can go and click on the selection tool again and play back. Button, just like and then once you're happy with it, all you want to do is go and click on file. Of course, go and save the project so you can come back later and go and edit it. But then once you want to go and export it, you simply want to go and click on file. To go and export it, hover over export and it's going to go and give you all of the different formats you can go and export in. So you've got MP3, um, WAV and OGG. Personally, I usually use .wav or .wav. So simply go and click here and then you can go and choose where you want to go and export it. So I'm just going to export it to my desktop and go and click save. And then as you can see here, it says your tracks being mixed down to two stereo channels in the exported file, which is fine with me. So I'm going to click OK. And then here you can go and set loads of awesome stuff. So you can go and set the artist name. So I'm going to go and take Tucker. Um, and then you could just go and name this example. And you can fill all this stuff in, of course. Usually because I'm just using this for YouTube videos, I wouldn't bother. But if you're trying to make music and podcasts, this is really cool. Um, and then you can just click OK. And then it's going to go and export it. It will take some time if it's a longer track. And then as you can see down here, I've now gone and got the finished file and I can just go and double click on it and it's going to go and play back to me. Just like but I hope you did find this guide useful. If you did, please go down below and hit the like button. Subscribe for more content. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.